Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. Who will you marry? This reading is timeless, and for this reading, there are four different options. Option one, Shalimar. I'm about to sneeze. Oh, bless me. Option two, Shador, Christian Dior. Stay. Option three, Chance, Chanel. And Quapro, option four, Versace, Bright Crystal Absolute. As always, timestamps will be provided. Take a deep breath and choose a perfume. Oops. If you chose option one, Shalimar, here is your reading. time favorite tarot deck, the Mayan Tarot, Zoltun. I clean and I clean and I still see specs. Page of Swords, Sotha de Espadas, Ten of Cups, Dias de Copas, Four of Cups, Cuatro de Copas. Oh God, I need to sweep. I'm stepping on crumbs. Had a house full of 14 year olds this weekend. The most romantic tarot deck, Legend Arthurian. Good hard shuffle. Six of Swords, Seis de Espadas, Five of Cups, Cinco de Copas, Ten of Shields, Dias de Oros, that's very good. Two marriage cards so far. Three of Wands, Trace de Bastos, Four of Pentacles, Cuatro de Oros, El Juicio, Judgment. What? These cards throw me off for some reason. Okay. Two of Wands, those they bastos. Two of Swords, those they espadas. And Knight of Swords, Caballo de Espadas. Okay, what I'm getting for pile one is that before meeting this person, your future spouse, you're going to have it in your mind that you don't want to get married. Um, you could be bitter. You could be carrying a lot of baggage. You could be telling everyone, that is the last thing on my mind. 
as far as I'm concerned, I could be single for the rest of my life. So you definitely have a wall up, but you're going to meet this person and obviously they're going to persist and they're going to break down your barrier because you're going to marry this person. And looks like you may have at least one child together. This person could be a few years younger than you. They have a very strong personality. They have a lot of masculine energy, regardless of their gender. So when I say masculine, I mean they have a lot of fire and air in their natal chart. One possible astro combo for this person, they could have Sun and Aquarius, Sagittarius rising, Moon and Gemini. This person's very good with words. They're very charming. They can be very manipulative. They're very persuasive. They could be a lawyer or a politician. Um, but they're going to really pursue you with a single-minded focus. They're going to meet you and have it in their head that you are their person. You're the one they're supposed to be with. You're the one they've been waiting on. Um, and I'm seeing a really short courtship, to use an old-fashioned word. So you're going to get to know each other, and I can see you meeting, because I feel like you're going to meet online. So I can see you meeting in person. I can see you meeting in person within maybe a week or two weeks of chatting online. You meet in person, air travel may be involved, and it's love at first sight, love at first text, and then, or love at first direct message, and then love further confirmed at first sight, and you're going to date, fuck, court, um, for about six months at the most before getting married or getting engaged. Uh, probably a really short engagement. You know, some people, for whatever reason, they choose to just draw it out. So they're in a relationship for two, three, four, five years, and they get engaged as another one or two years. That's not the case for pile one. So within a year, of meeting this person, marriage is quite possible. You could run off to Reno or Vegas or the courthouse. I feel like if you have a wedding, it's going to be non-traditional. Uh, it's probably not going to be in a church. <clears throat> you could get married like Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson on a beach, something like that. Very impromptu, very spontaneous. Um, What else? What else? This person may get on your nerves because they're going to want to be with you all the time. Um, they're going to want to communicate at all times and be with you at all times. Who I'm seeing here is my mom's third and I guess final husband. They met when they were in their middle age, 40s. I guess they were both in their 40s. He's a bit older than she is, but um, even now they've been married for gosh, over a decade and they're always together. And when they're not together, they're always on the phone, but they're both Geminis, so. Um, and you may like that. You may like a lot of togetherness. You are going to be best friends, but you're constantly, constantly communicating. Um, and I just see you doing a lot of things together. You know, you're 
maybe doing a vlog together, maybe you're on YouTube together, you're always traveling. Um, they may be into putting a tiny house together, living off the grid. But I get this really restless energy. This person's extremely energetic. They're always on the go. This is not couch potato energy. And I can see this person playing a guitar. So yeah, that's what I have for pile one. Hope that helps, entertains in some way. Check out Extra Basic Tarot for Basic Bitch Zodiac readings and astrology videos. I recently did a video on angel numbers per a subscriber's request. And at Patreon, I go in depth with the astrology videos and the tarot tutorials. Tarot tutorials, which is gracias. And if you chose Jador, perfume number two, here is your reading. Starting with my most romantic deck, Legend Arthurian. Eight of Swords, Ocho de Espadas, the Empress, Temperance, La Templanza, my all-time favorite tarot deck, the Mayan Tarot, the Zoltun. Two of Swords, those they espadas. Two of Staffs, those they bastos. Five of Swords, cinco de espadas. El carro, the chariot, la luna, the moon. Tres de Oros, Three of Pentacles. King of Wands, Eight of Bastos, Eight of Cups, Ocho de Copas, Four of Swords, Cuatro de Espadas. You're manifesting this person right now. Good job. You have a very clear idea of what you want. You don't want something casual. You don't want some bullshit. You're manifesting a marriage. So you spend a lot of time alone meditating. You're very rigorous with your daily practices and routines. You're not always in the fuck noise of social media, YouTube, Instagram, WhatsApp. TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. You take care of yourself. You know your value. You know your worth. You have that carved in stone. Um, and you're willing to wait. Quality, not quantity. A possible astro combo for your future spouse. He or she could have Sun and Leo, Pisces rising, Moon and Sagittarius. This person is an extrovert. This person is confident. If this is a man, he has a very good, healthy relationship with his mother, which means he's not going to treat you like shit. He's going to treat you like the queen that you are. 
Um, he's going to bring you roses. He's going to take you on dates to real restaurants, you know, five-star restaurants. This man has class. If it's a woman, same thing. She has a really good relationship with her dad and she's not carrying all this baggage from previous relationships. Whoever this person is, they're healthy, they're sane, they're balanced. Um, they're going to treat you extremely well. And when both of you enter this relationship, when you start getting to know each other, you're not going to be <clears throat> clearing my throat chakra. Ah, you're not going to be hung up on your exes. None of that nonsense. So you're going to be ready for this. You both have done the necessary work. You figured out what you want. And so no mind games. Um, no baggage. I mean, we all have baggage, but you're going to work through your shit before you enter into this because this looks very high vibration to me. I'm not seeing toxicity. I'm not seeing red flags. I'm seeing a lot of respect. I'm seeing reciprocity. And that's what you want. I mean, that's the ideal. Like I say all the time, when you strip away all the overused labels, soulmates, high-level soulmates, karmics, twin flames, divine counterparts, all that true love truly is is a mutual exchange of energy. And I'm seeing that here. So even when you're first getting to know this person, I mean, there's always some fear when you're getting to know someone and there's vulnerability. But from the beginning, you're going to know where you stand. You're not going to feel tense and nervous. You're not going to feel anxious. You're not going to feel like they're talking to other people on social media. None of that bullshit. Uh, this person has integrity with their word when they say they're going to contact you or they're going to meet you someplace. They follow through. They don't flake. They're not going to go ghost on you. Um, you're not going to see any red flags, and that could be a red flag in of itself. You might think, well, this person's too good to be true. Where are the red flags? I should be seeing red flags by now. The red flags always show up eventually, but not with this person. So I feel like you're both going to be on this spiritual path. You could meditate together. You could do yoga together. You could get on a plane together, go to Costa Rica and swig ayahuasca with a shaman in the jungle, something like that. Maybe you're both raw vegans. Um, you have similar habits and routines. You're both pretty fucking healthy. So. You may have kids. We do have the Empress. You could have kids. You could have a family. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is not your first time at the rodeo. This could be a second, maybe a third marriage. <clears throat> maybe you'll have a blended family like the Brady Bunch. But... That's what I see for Pile 2. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Check out Extra Basic Tarot for Basic Bitch Zodiac readings and astrology videos. I go pretty deep at Patreon with the tarot tutorials and the astrology videos, so be sure and check that out. Muchas gracias. And if you chose Trace, three, Chance, Chanel. Here's your reading. The most romantic tarot deck on the planet, Legend Arthurian. Oh, 
Open them once. Knight of Cups, that's a beautiful damn start. Bio de Copas. Four of Spears, wonderful. Quatro de Bastos. Queen of Shields, the wife card, all right. Reina de Oros. My all-time favorite tarot deck, the Mayan Tarot, the Zoltun. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. It's Friday night and I feel all right. Eight of Swords, Ocho de Espadas. Ace of Jades, Ace of Pentacles, As de Oros, Ace of Swords, As de Espadas. Cinco de Espadas, Five of Swords, and a Garo, the Chariot. So do they Espadas, Page of Swords. This is pretty specific to a Cups, those Decopas. It's not going to resonate with everyone. The Joker, I keep the Jokers, they amplify the cards around them. Of course, not a personal reading. I am always available for those. All the info is in the description box. Seven of Swords, Six of the Espadas. But what I'm getting is that you're a single parent and you don't have time for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse when it comes to dating. Uh, no jokers need apply. You're not looking for some fast and furious, no strings attached fuck in the Applebee's parking lot. Um, if it's not romantic, if it's not real, if it's not substantial, you have zero interest. So it's your story or it isn't, but this person is going to know right away that you don't play. Uh, they're going to see your value. They're going to see your worth. And if you are a single parent, if you have a young child, they're going to be very good to your child. They're going to be very kind, generous. They're going to be a good parent, a good step parent. And maybe you'll have a kid or a few kids together when you get married. But I see you having a child or children already. Um, and you have your guard up because I feel like your previous partner or partners were players. Um, you're going to be challenging, but this person, your future spouse, accepts the challenge because you have all the qualities they desire in a mate. So there's going to be this recognition. I've experienced this a few times. I guess you could say soulmates. You know, you meet someone and you just, you sense familiarity, this spiritual kinship. I've experienced that a few times. Um, so this could be a soulmate, twin flame, whatever resonates with you, but it's going to be a spiritual connection where you look at each other's eyes and you just know you've probably been together in some capacity in previous incarnations. You're going to speak the same love language. This person is not a fake. They're sincere. 
they're not especially materialistic. They're not going to try to win you over with gifts. Uh, they're going to grace you with their time and attention. When they're with you, they're with you. They're present. They're not constantly checking their phone. You're not going to think they're talking to other people on social media. If this person is on social media, it's really just for the purpose of keeping up with family. You know, they could live at a distance from their family and that's the main reason they are even on social media, but they don't live on Instagram. They're not always taking gym selfies or whatever. They're not trying to prove anything to anyone. Uh, not a narcissist. So this person is spiritual. Um, they're spiritual and they are romantic. I can see this person praying or meditating. Uh, they have books. Music is very important to this person. I can see them sending you playlists when you're getting to know each other. This song reminds me of you. This song, this movie reminds me of you. You remind me of the woman in this movie or the man in this movie, whatever. Um, Four of Wands is my favorite marriage card because I see it as a spiritual marriage. It's not status quo. It's not two people just coming together because they feel like they have to be in a marriage. They have to be in a relationship. It's not for social media purposes. Oh, look what I've got. I've got this husband. I've got this wife. I've got this beautiful house. You come together because you really fucking love each other. Um, what you have is singular. It's unique. This connection you're not going to find with just anyone. This is a once in a lifetime kind of relationship. So you're going to take your time getting to know each other. There's absolutely no rush. I feel like there is going to be distance in the beginning. Um, so you'll probably meet the way a lot of people meet. You'll meet online. You could be in different countries. You could be on different continents. But I feel like you're both romantics and you hide it. You don't show how romantic you are because you have been hurt before. But this person's going to have your heart almost immediately. You're just going to feel like this is your person. This is who you're supposed to be with. But there's no rush. You're going to get to know each other and it's going to be beautiful. And you're going to just reveal layers to each other as this progresses. Yeah, I feel like you could be a few years older. A possible astro combo for this person. He or she could have sun and cancer. Gemini rising. Moon and Aries. You could have sun and Virgo. Aquarius rising. Moon and Gemini, just possibilities. But I feel like your synastry is really good. It's solid. You probably have at least one significant conjunction, like sun conjunct moon, moon conjunct moon, something like that. That's what I see for pile three. Thanks so much for watching. Check out Extra Basic Tarot for Zodiac readings and astrology videos, which is gracias. And if you chose Versace Bright Crystal, here is your reading. Page of Cups, so that they copers, Nine of Spears, Nine of Wands, over the Bastos, 
page of spears so that they bust those. Queen of Jades, Queen of Pentacles, Reign of the Oros, Knight of Cups, Caballo de Copas. Interesting. I got the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups in um, Pile 3. That's rare whenever two signifiers show up together like that. Queen of Pentacles and Knight of Cups. And Knight of Swords, Caballo de Espadas. Ask the Oros, Ace of Pentacles, so of the Oros. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Copas, Six of Cups. Knight of Swords, Caballo de Espadas. This is really interesting. Two of Wands, those de Bastos. And two of swords, those the espadas. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Because we have all these signifiers and all these kids. Okay. Super specific. But I feel like the specific readings are more interesting than the vague generic readings that could apply to anyone. It's obviously not a personal reading. I'm always available for those. This is super specific. I'm getting that you both have been married before or you have kids from previous relationships. I feel like you have one kid and this person has two kids. And you're a few years older than this person, your future spouse. And this has been... An on-again, off-again connection, not a relationship. This is not an ex. You don't have any history with this person. You don't have kids together. But this is someone that you may have talked to, flirted with online, and it was a matter of really shitty timing. You were with someone, they were with someone else, so it didn't happen. Maybe you didn't meet. You just talked online. Maybe distance was a factor. And there may have been a few attempts to get close and something just always happened. But then there's going to be this breakthrough and you are going to get together. You're going to get married. But this is not the energy of two people who just meet with stars in their eyes at the age of 20, 21, 22, where you're young and you've not really experienced life yet and you fall in love after a few dates and you get engaged after a few months and then you have this big, lavish, extravagant wedding a year after falling in love or some shit. It's not like that. Uh, it's not a Disney movie. This is not Aladdin and Jasmine. Um, this is real life. Okay, and there have been periods of time where you and this person have not been in contact at all. But you had this strong sense of familiarity when you met the first time or when you saw each other online, whatever. You saw each other's profiles or you made a match online. There was this strong sense of familiarity, this recognition that you get with soulmates, so, uh, could also be someone you went to school with, someone you went to high school, college with, and you reconnect on social media. But once it's determined that you are together, you love each other, you're in a committed relationship, 
it's going to go pretty fast. Um, you're going to move in together and you're going to get married, but it's not going to be this big church wedding. It could be going to the courthouse, something very um, straightforward, not fancy. I'm not seeing a big fancy church wedding for Pile 4. So if that's what you're wanting, you know, pick another pile. Um, but this is the energy of two people who have connected and you've made these clumsy, awkward attempts and it didn't happen and then it didn't happen again. And then you finally get together and it's good. Um, there's a lot of feeling here. This is really intense. A possible astral combo for your future spouse they could have Sun in Pisces, Taurus rising, Moon in Sagittarius. That's just one possibility. You could have Sun in Capricorn, Gemini rising, Moon in Taurus. But it's going to be a natural fit. You're going to just get along and it's going to be really easy. Um, you're going to finish each other's sentences. You could have mental telepathy. I feel like you both dream of each other a lot. Uh, you're going to have this really obvious chemistry. It's going to be envi enviable. People are going to see you together and think, God, I wish I had what they have. Uh, and I'm not seeing any weird neurotic behavior where you're always questioning each other. You're checking this person's phone. You're checking up on them on social media. I'm not seeing jealousy or a crazy town. I'm not seeing possessiveness. I'm not seeing any ugliness. This is too mature adults who have lived a lot of life. You've experienced a lot of life. I'm seeing good parents. I'm just seeing good people, decent people. Um, you know how to treat people. You have good relationships, good friendships. Um, and this is a marriage that's going to last. I don't always see that or say that when I'm doing these kind of readings, but I'm seeing a solid marriage that is going to last once you finally get together. That's what I see for Paul Four. And that does conclude this Pick a Card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.